welcome back in this tutorial i am going to tell you how you create and how you establish security imagination designer and uh, different users use different security for different type of purpose so i use it that three buttons four buttons and one three buttons and one slider every buttons have different access by different users and i am going to save this project and you can you can see i have a different so i have a button the button is used by so first of all i inherit so first of all my button used for every user and momentary button used for only administrator and engineer off button is used for only administrator and engineer and slider used by everyone so i am going to save it and now i am going to open my vision client screen so you can see i am going to launch window now we have my vision client vision client launcher is launching and i am going to tell you how you access the different users and security so first of all my vision client is now open and he is now uh, demanding username and password so i have different you can see admin niyazi shani and operator user so i tried niyazi shani and you know the password is on the password so i want to enter and now it's loading because i have an engineer access you can see administrator and engineer access i have so i am going to you can see i easily push button momentary button on and off Uh, on this slider, I think on and off is not uh, is not only my access. So I am going to check is on and off on the access. So you can see on and off is on my access, but is not on. So it's not a um, matter. So I am going to on the command and log out. Now I am going to enter off the printer user. and uh, my password is on the password so i am going to log in so operator is i think the spelling is this operator operator is o e p i c operator is it and password is password and enter now you can see i enter now i don't access my entry and on on the button but i access slider and button so you can see different users have different access so i'm going to again log out and now log in as a admin so i try to take admin and password is password so i'm going to log in and you can see i use every button in my vision client screen the vision client screen is very powerful because you can access your main server scada server from your Uh, lan on your lan computer every computer on your lan you can use by only vision client install vision client in your lan network and remotely access from your server it is easy thank you very much in the next video inshallah we i am making on prospective sessions ignition prospective and the prospective is very important because it is web based mobile users easily use on mobiles and you can purchase a domain and access from everywhere from the world easily thank you very much for watching our lectures